Welcome back! And if you're new to our channel, please take a moment to subscribe. In this video, I finally get into the greenhouse and repot some tomato, cucumber, and pepper plants. We take a six hour drive to and from Sweden to go food shopping. The selection and prices are so much better than what we're used to here in Norway. Please remember to leave us a comment if you enjoy this video. We'd love hearing from you. The days are rapidly getting longer, and we have had quite a bit of sunshine. Although winter's cold hands are still hanging on with a firm grip, spring is on the horizon. With so much snow, it's hard to visualize what green grass looks like. We know winter will eventually come to an end. In the meantime, we bundle up and go out and breathe the freshest air. Inhale deeply. There is no pollution, just crisp air. That is a good feeling. With the change of season comes new beginnings. Soon we will put all of the ideas we've come up with this winter into action. It will be so interesting to see what actually comes to bear fruit. After all, what is life without accomplishing hopes and dreams? It's the end of February and I have all my baby plants started up under the grow light on the shelf in the living room and I uh, have a lot more to plant. So I have to get out into the greenhouse. Tommy actually was able to uh, get the door open, so that's fantastic. So I'm on my way out there to get some pots. I'm gonna repot these uh, babies and plant some more seeds. Look at all of this snow, can you believe it? Ay ay ay. Greenhouse is really a mess. But the scary thing is, is the roof is starting to really sag a lot. So we've got to get this heavy snow off of uh, off of the roof. It's it's bending the wrought iron. That's insane. So I have a lot of work to do. But it's going to be really nice this spring. Don't worry. <laughs> a lot of weeding, but um, it's going to be great. Yeah, definitely have to add some more support to the roof. And this is pretty tall. And the reason we made it so tall is so that the tomatoes, when they grow, that they have plenty of room. Uh, so we can tie them up from the top of the ceiling on the roof. So... No, it's a, it's a grand uh, greenhouse. It is for sure. It's big in here. We just have to take care of it. It's in shambles right now, but it's going to be okay. It's going to be nice. Ah, it's like going on an Easter egg hunt looking for pots. It's so nice in here. There's definitely a temperature difference um, in the greenhouse when the sun is beating down and uh, some of the weeds and things are still green inside here, which is kind of strange to see when everything outside is all white and full of snow. So it, it feels good to be here. So I need to definitely get out in the greenhouse and start planting and um, I'm so excited for spring. Found some pots, just have to get out the greenhouse through all that snow. I take pleasure in sowing vegetables from seed. 
and observing their entire lifespan. It is so rewarding to see a once tiny seed provide me with nutritious food that I grew myself. I am using regular potting soil, but I will start using fertilizer from this point on to provide the baby plants with nutrients. Did you know you can feed your plants with your own urine? This might sound strange, but mixed 1 to 10 with water, urine is rich in nitrogen, potassium, and phosphorus, and has been used for generations to help plants grow. I have a little stand at our local grocery store selling our honey and my homemade lip balm of beeswax. It is an honesty stand and people can pay with an app on their telephone. It is so nice to receive good feedback from the community. Look at all the ducks! There's the keys! Food prices have gone up with 13% in the past year. So we Norwegians, uh, we're kind of naughty and we drive across the border to Sweden to shop for food. <laughs> Even with the extreme diesel and um, petrol prices, and it's worth it to drive. We, we're actually driving three hours to cross the border to an area where uh, a lot of Norwegians come to shop, so it's, it's sort of set up for us to, <laughs> to easily come in food shop, but it's about 50% cheaper than, than what we're used to paying, and we thought we'd stock up our freezers full of meat, so uh, we're, we're on our way, and it's, uh, it's kind of yucky weather, but it's okay. We're, we're together, taking a drive. It's a six hour round trip to drive. Yeah, six hours in the car. You might think we're nuts, but we're having fun and we're together, so it's fine. Yeah, and she talked me into getting the buffet. <laughs> she did? Yeah, because what I ordered was on the buffet, so might as well get that instead of waiting for food. Okay. Okay. So what did you get? <laughs> I got a mixture of stuff, different uh, Thai uh, red curry chicken and Szechuan beef and some fish, and I skipped out on the rice. 
So you went all the way to Sweden to eat Chinese food. Yeah. <laughs> in Norway, they put a lot of tax on alcohol and tobacco products. In Sweden, things like these are cheaper. Luckily, we don't smoke. I'm just picking up some Swedish snuff for a friend. If you're not familiar with this, it's tobacco you put under your lip, and there are many different types and flavors. country's largest food store. It's a thousand um, square meters and it's about 50% cheaper to shop here than in Norway, but not everything is cheaper, we've noticed. Some things are about the same and yeah, maybe a few things are cheaper in Norway, but not that many. So. Uh, yeah, <laughs> Sweden is a part of uh, the European community, so there's much, much better uh, uh, choices of food. What's UFOL? Well, in English. <laughs> Selection. Selection, thank you. Selection. Your, uh, your no English is getting worse by the yeah, day. Yeah, it is. My English stinks. But anyway, this chicken is from Denmark and this chicken is from Poland. So, trying to decide what to buy. What's the price? Uh, we have 125 for the chicken in Denmark. 125 for the chicken in Poland. And about. And that's for the whole package, and it's two kilos. Yeah, two kilos, yeah. And 100 crowns, uh, both Swedish and Norwegian crowns, are about the same as 10 US dollars. Some uh, cod. It's uh, it's like sixteen dollars for one package. How much is one package? Almost a kilo, eight hundred grams. Mm. Goose, a whole goose for seven hundred pounds. That's like seventy dollars for one bird. It's easy to go nuts here and spend way too much money, especially since I didn't make a shopping list. Everything looks so tempting because there is such a good selection that is reasonably priced compared to what we are used to paying back home. We like to fill up our shelves with dry goods because this world is a crazy place. You just never know if you suddenly need a stock pantry for tough times. Oh, 
bring that whole thing there home. <laughs> yeah, it looks so good. It looks so good. It looks so good. Oh. Oh. Never go shopping hungry. No. I have to go over to the American food department and find some peanut butter for my son. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I think we're done, T. Are we done? I don't know. Are we done? We're done. I'm done. We're done that cheap? Done that cheap. <laughs> Tommy was able to reach his hand out the window and, and grab it <laughs> before it fell off. <laughs> I have to lean over to see. Yeah. You need to find a place to stop. Yeah, so we can put it back on. Good thing you got it, see? Yeah. Success! It was success. Please take the time to create a YouTube account and subscribe to our channel. It's free to subscribe, it doesn't cost anything, but it will help our channel to grow and maybe even become monetized. Meaning, YouTube will pay us to create videos for you, if we have enough viewers. Thanks so much for watching.